few and four honest viewers and that are not prejudiced. You can't go by my appearance or my voice or do I say the truth? Now, I'm going to have this as video 3A, an addendum to expose video 3, because I read something that you have to understand in this hoopla of Einstein, like he discovered light. I think people were able to see prior to Einstein, <laughs> well, definitely the velocity of light and that it's has to be the, like he said, the ultimate velocity. Now, so I have here then uh, mathematical physics, uh, the constants. And the speed of light is C and is Romer calculation, Romer calculated. Galileo and try he, he, he in natural philosophy they called it then in the 1900 on I say physics Galileo resolved anything he ever tried except discover the actual finite velocity of light because in his time the only thing they had was a water clock and it was one second it's impossible to time velocity of light on earth so as one of my jokes and where the reporter now he's elderly like yours truly, and it's raining, and he gets going further from mountaintop to mountaintop further and trying to catch, to calculate the finite velocity of light. So the reporter said, well, Galileo, now you said this would be your last experiment. What have you decided? And it's cold and rainy, and he's tired, and he says, well, I've decided that if light isn't instantaneous, it's awful blankety blank fast. He had determined that as far as light was concerned on Earth, all practicality was instantaneous. Romar, not Einstein, calculated by observing the Earth revolving around the sun, diameter 186 million miles, the difference in seconds, and he calculated it to where he obtained approximately three times 10 uh, to the eight meters per second. That's really close even today. It was not Einstein, it was Romar from Galileo. It was D, it was D over T, he said C equals D over T and calculated three times 10 to the eight meters per second. That's the reason I'm adding this is because of the um, a snowball, a snow job of saying Einstein this, Einstein that. You better believe Einstein had no idea, none, concerning my laser beam. Absolutely none. That's for sure. Anytime anybody wants to take a polygraph lie detector to test this, who did light education, some electromagnetic radiation, when, where, how, why, and how. It's absolutely my original work. I better believe that. Now the reason I'm mentioning this is that as I go through all of these constants, and there's a, a page in small writing and there and there must be uh, well, at least 50. None of them was originated by Einstein. Do you understand? There's a oh, great work here by men who did it years before Einstein. You have to accept the truth, and that is Olinto de Preto originated, published it, explained it, the transformation of a small amount of matter into an enormous amount of energy per equals mc squared, and you can calculate it, and he demonstrated. And his brother... Now, I might make a little bit of a glitch. His brother actually worked for a Mr. Basil, who was Olinto de Pretro's uncle. You understand how close they were? And so 
uh, Michael Beso, Mr. Beso's son, Swiss Italian, originally from the Veneto area where Di Petro was, Einstein's best friend. Einstein made one little mistake. He did say one reference, and it was Michael Beso. Now, you have to understand that when finally I was able to have this one-on-one -on -one showdown conference between Einstein and yours truly, that he took his name off of what was called the Einstein Transformation Equation for short, because Lorenz Einstein, Einstein, the Einstein Transformation Equation. I have, I had videos Daddy I cross and these to detail of explaining and proving what I say. But now I not only are they supposed to be wiped out, but I can't get them to answer me what I can do to get a copy of them. They said, well, uh, this is, uh, they send you an email saying, but don't answer this email because we don't an answer your answer email. Send them this form. So I sent them the form, sends back, keeps coming back. They won't accept their form. So I'm forced to have these expose, now summation videos of what I've done in the last at least five years. Now, the E equals HF. There's direct proportion in the frequency. The increase in frequency is an increase in the value of energy, but it does it with Planck's constant. You have to have Planck's constant, which then obtains as it occurs in nature. Planck put forward quantum, the quantum theory, where matter transforms into space as it discontinues with bits. Planck's constant is uh, approximately 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 27 erg seconds. What Einstein did is he, he obtained the Nobel Prize for Photoelectric Effect, Philip Leonard who was in Einstein's area for years before Einstein, was bitter because Philip Leonard did work with beams of light. And he put forward that if you have a zinc plate, it isn't the intensity, it's the, as the uh, frequency increases, the wavelength becomes less. You get this more rapid staccato greater frequency, it has a greater energy to emit the photoelectron. He put that forward years before Einstein, call it, and the photoelectric effect. Philip Leonard lived in Einstein's area when he lived in Germany. They knew each other. Einstein would read his work. He was world famous. Received the Nobel Prize in 1905, the year Einstein wrote his papers. Do you have to understand that there's just overwhelming detail of proof, especially when now I, I would say, well, I'll give them the, because E equals MC squared is number one equation. And I'll say, I'm beginning to have doubts, but I'll say that was his work. No, it's, um, Berto, Professor Umberto Bartosi proves it's really Olinto de Preto's work, and he must be given credit, not plagiarist Einstein. So the summation by yours truly is that Einstein is the greatest plagiarist, the greatest in the world plagiarist. And I always supported and defended him, but now I have to say the truth. And this is uh, addendum uh, because um, uh, 
I know a lot don't like me. Uh, they don't like my appearance, my maybe speaking voice, or where I live, we all spoke this way. When I play it back, I think I have a heck of an accent. Upstate New York, New Jersey. So, wow. I don't think I have an accent now as I speak, and I, none of us knew we talked. None of us considered we had an accent. But this is really me. I've been forced to survive Hoover, criminally insane Hoover's crimes. Barely, a half a dozen times, barely accidental death by a split second. I have spinal injuries. I work so hard to stay alive. I have spinal injuries. I have overcome horrendous crimes and obstacles. That don't mean anything. What is the truth? The truth is, let him take some letters from negative radiation. Same as anybody in the world did the original work. The laser coherent beam number one in the world is my work. Absolutely. The believers, I say, Thank you. And if anybody gives me support, of course, thanks.